Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the different events that came with the April 15th, 2020 patch that just went live yesterday, so you make sure you take full advantage of all of the different things that are going on. But real quick, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me, and would help to grow the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's take a look at the very first set of items that are coming to you in the form of your mailbox. So, if you go to the bottom right corner of your screen, you will see the mail icon. Go ahead and click on the mail icon, and it will bring up a whole bunch of different items in your received items. As you may or may not know, if you click on the challenge tab, there are challenge rewards that pop up over here every single day. And some of those challenge rewards you need to claim every single day. This wasn't properly communicated, so they are giving you a compensation worth two days of event items. So you can go ahead and pick up two days worth of event items from this. Make sure to pick those up and then make sure to claim these items as they pop up from your challenges icon, which is the present icon, as they pop into the inventory over here. So make sure to claim these every single day because they go away, but as a one-time grace period, you can claim additional ones right here. One of those things is the event Golden Seal of Panto. So if you've been claiming these all along, you probably have enough of them to make a container. If you go ahead and right-click on this and click NPC location, it will take you to the closest NPC for the Golden Seals of Panto, which in the case of Heidel is this dude right here. If you click exchange, you can get a Shaktu's Luxury Box. So make sure to pick those up if you've gotten 10 of those Golden Seals. If not, make sure to check your daily challenge every single day to pick those up as they pop in there. The second thing that will be in your mailbox is going to be a house furniture set. You need to claim this by May 15th. So it's this Stay Home and Comfort item right here. If you click on that, it has a full Chemist Sylvia furniture set. Go ahead and hit Receive. It will pop into your inventory in the Pearl tab. You can right-click on it and it will give you all of the different furniture items you see right here. There is no time limit on these. These are awesome, awesome prizes. I have no idea where I'm gonna fit them in my drug factory that I've got going on over here in Heidel. It'll take up all the room of my drug tools, but hey, maybe I'll find a nice place to put them. But the nice thing is that these go into your pearl inventory, so you don't even have to worry about them taking up space. Just throw them in there and don't even think about them. So next up is this Finto's Juice Challenge. Basically, this is a little mini crafting event that lets you make Finto's Healthy Juice, which gives you health EXP plus 2,000. You can make two of them by combining these cooking ingredients, which you get for being logged in for one hour once per day. They will not stack, so you need to claim it every single day that you've been logged in for one hour. So you combine one of those with a Fruit of the Sun, which you get from harvesting the seed, not from harvesting the plant. So you gotta do the plant breeding option on the special wheat seeds that you'll be able to plant that it gives you. An everlasting herb, cooking honey times seven, and you will get two of the Finto's healthy juice. So 4,000 health EXP per day if you partake in the event. Just to show you the different items, the weed seeds are available from your challenges menu. So if you click the challenge icon in the bottom corner, you will get special weed seed times three. You go ahead and plant these and then harvest the seeds from these over and over again. If you need a video on how harvesting and planting and all that works, check out my special olive seed guide. I pretty much walk you through the whole process of getting seeds from these. So if that's how you're going to do that. Like I said, the Finto's cooking ingredients will come to you after being logged in for an hour. I haven't been logged in for an hour yet, so I'll get them eventually. By harvesting the seeds, it will give you Fruit of the Sun, which is completely sold out right now and back ordered. So if you want to make some cash, you can plant some special wheat seeds during this event and pop off these Fruits of the Sun like there's no tomorrow. An Everlasting Herb, which there's like 10,000 of them on the market right now, so it shouldn't be too hard to come across those. And finally, Cooking Honey times 7. You will need 7 of these Cooking Honeys, and there's a lot of those on the market as well. But if you can't find them on the marketplace, they can also be picked up from Alejandro Farm if you pick the Honey Production node. So set up your node empire to pick up some honey. If you don't have that node already, got a guide on picking up that node, guide on the nodes and workers and all that system on the channel as well. You combine all of those different ingredients with a simple cooking icon right here. So you press the L key to open up the processing tab, click on simple cooking, add all those different ingredients, and you will get a Finto's Healthy Juice. And finally, literally the event that every single person has been waiting for in the wonderful world of Black Desert. Literally, I could not even find a parking spot here at the Grand Old Medieval Beach Party Festival 2020. So this is the fishing event that a lot of people remember from previously that was included with the Ellie's Mystical Water Festival. But basically what you're going to do is head over to the pond that's located in the center of this area. So the Mystical Ellie's Water Festival, if you do not remember where it is, is north and west of Olvia. So up into the left of Olvia is the Mystical Ellie's Water Festival. Run on down to this pond, cast your line in, and auto fish to your heart's content. This is the safe zone. If you are feeling ballsy and really want to risk your, oh my gosh, the hippies are all out here parking out in their tents and everything. This is crazy. 
but if you're feeling ballsy, you can also fish in the non-safe zone region of the water festival as well. But anyway, the fishing event has a golden sea perch in it, as well as koi. So these fish are part of the normal fish loot table, if that makes sense. AKA, when you go to fish, if you set your thing to auto throw away fish, you will throw away the koi fish since they're only blue rarity, I do believe. Of course, you could do this manually as well and just throw away everything that's not a koi or a golden sea perch. But you can see they go for a lot of money, so if you are going to bed, set up a character to AFK fish over here because you'll rack in quite the income from this event. But anyway guys, that is basically it. So come on down to the Medieval Festival of Beaches 2020, and I will be here waiting to pick up your horse and park it somewhere else for you. I promise I won't drive it into the water. If you did like this video, if it's going to help you to progress in Black Desert, check out some of the different events in the game. Make sure to leave a like. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel once again, so you stay updated when new content comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.